Madame Vinar Korban Anuba to make her response. begin by thanking all uh, the jury members of the Media Foundation uh, for really finding me worthy of uh, this recognition and I'm truly honored and humbled because I'm very well aware of uh, the very rich legacy that my predecessors have carried and their incredible body of work. Um, I think of myself as a journalist and at the same time I'm very very aware of the women who came before us. Uh, and fought our battles in circumstances that possibly don't exist today. In my first job at the Indian Express, uh, I sorted photographs. <clears throat> I put them in different envelopes, um, celebrity, politician, sportsperson, film personalities, etc. And once I was to finish that, uh, my next, next task as a journalist was to further arrange them alphabetically. Um, as luck would have it, uh, there was a new restaurant that was opening in the capital and I was asked to cover it and it's very exhaustive menu and a new chef who had been brought from somewhere abroad. I think I made a face uh, at my editor and um, suggested that I wasn't coming to journalism for this. But I think he made it very clear to me, uh, I had to do it. My first story had found me. Um, I did go to a journalism school of sorts, and I'm not sure what I learned there. Uh, but I think I must have learned something, uh, because like many female journalists, and I make this distinction only in a very matter-of-fact way, because I still consider myself a journalist. Um, but as a female journalist, I think the first story that I wanted to do was possibly of a red light area and what life is in a red light area. Um, I know many women journalists, when they come into the profession, want to do that. I think at that time, um, my impressions of struggle, of uh, injustice, of what poverty was so clear in my head. Thankfully, as the years have passed, I realized how terribly wrong I was and how little I have known of people in their lives. Um, I think many journalists say this, uh, many of them are here today. Uh, I began, I didn't do anything great, I only began to listen more carefully. I realized that uh, journalism was going to take a lot of patience and a lot of empathy. Um, and I realized that you possibly can't be called a journalist if you only look at people in this very confined perimeter of a case study. And if you want to go back home or uh, go back to clean sheets in a hotel and leave people in their dirty environments to where they are. Um, I have been drawn to stories of struggle and of injustice and um, perhaps that is a reflection on my own feelings. Um, I don't think I can articulate for lengthy periods of time as television journalists are mostly known to. I don't think I get famously along with uh, candidates and public officials um, to be able to achieve their candor or their trust. Um, and I am admitting to those feeling, uh, feelings. Uh, but on the other hand, in the course of my work, I have met uh, many, many incredible people uh, who have helped me find the truth, who have accompanied me on my journeys, who have opened their hearts and their homes to me. Um, they have left their own work, their own families, their own grief behind. Um, they have helped me understand nuances. They have invited me to their homes for a cup of tea, helped me to use their toilets, and much, much more. And I've never understood why people do this. <clears throat> Perhaps uh, they're as interested in the truth as we journalists are. Uh, which brings me to something that has troubled me over the last couple of years. A journalist's first obligation is to the truth, and I think there is complete unanimity and utmost confusion about what this means. Truth is often so complicated for us to pursue. 
or maybe it doesn't exist because we are all such strong and subjective individuals. And I think this is one of the reasons why any discussion on objectivity becomes such a trap. Um, I'm not sure who said it, but I think Walter Lippmann said it, that originally it was not the journalist who was imagined to be objective. It was his method that had to be objective. Um, I think every journalist knows the very non-negotiable demands that truth makes. Being impartial or neutral is not what this profession demands of us, is perhaps broadly my learning of the last couple of years. I think the critical step in pursuing the truth is not neutrality, but independence. I have tossed and turned around about this issue because that is the landscape that we face as journalists. And I'm more and more convinced that journalists are not and cannot be like employees of other organizations. Our social obligation actually overrides everything. And I say this with the, um, complete earnestness that it should override everything, even our employers' interests at times. So as journalists, we know and we learn what is required of us. So that's roughly all I want to say today and all that has been my learning. I just uh, would like to end by saying that I have been very, very fortunate to have a great set of mentors. Um, and my teacher, Jeru Mulla, when I was a very naive young girl who wanted to be a journalist. Um, Pranoy and Ravika, who laid great emphasis on all of us being good human beings before we become as journalists. Um, Rajdeep, Ornab, and Sonia, who have handheld me when I was too old to be handheld. Ritu, Radha, and Vinay, who have in my current organization, who have always matched my enthusiasm for the grime and the dirt. Uh, to my many, many friends here who are cheering for me. Rahul, Sahasini, Srishti, Juhi, Shweta. Many of them non-journalists as well. Amrita, Nilanji. Uh, thank you for standing by me in what has been an incredibly challenging year at a personal level. And, uh, how do you thank parents? I think my parents have made great sacrifices. They're going to second row, and um, I don't think one ever gets the opportunity to say thanks to parents. And how do you say thanks to parents? I think the only thing that I'm trying to say is that uh, this means a lot to me, and uh, this isn't just about me. It can not be only about me. It's about uh, many, many people. Thank you.